Boys and girls, we're ready for problem three. Before we do anything, <coughs> this to me looks like a four by three multiplication problem. But my box, my area model boxes only show three by three. Can someone please, Daniel, would you please tell me why you think my four by three problem only has nine boxes? What do you think? There is a zero. And I just want to remind you how we write expanded form for 4,500. Do we put a zero in the tens place and then write a nine? No. No, we don't. We just skip the tens place if there's a zero in it. So the same thing goes for this. Are you leaving? Take your paper and I'll send it to you. Okay, so we've got 4,509. The next one looks normal to me, 326. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Where do I write the 300? The bottom plus 20 plus 6. Okay, now when you get to the standard algorithm, I want to teach you a shortcut. So just work through the area model. You can work through it with me. I wanted to tell you something. We're actually doing an extra step that we don't necessarily need to do. So I want you to follow along and we're going to take out a step. Okay? Blair, if you don't have a paper, you're going to have to write on regular piece of scrap paper, I guess. Did you check this order? Your trapper? Yeah. Get a piece of scrap paper. This is my video that we're wasting time on. Okay, six times four. How many zeros? Two. What? Three. Six times five. Thirty-two. Um, Plus how many zeros? Yeah. Write this down. Six times nine. Okay, when I do this part, I do a little addition in my head. 3,000 plus 54 is 3,054. And then I'm going to add this in my head. So it would be 27,054. Now, I'm okay with commas until you get to the standard algorithm for multiplication, okay? All right, the next row. Two times four is? Eight. How many zeros? Four. So 80,000. <coughs> Two times five? <coughs> Why did I write 20? How many zeros? Three. So 10,000. 2 times 9? 18. How many zeros? 1. So I'm going to add these two numbers. So I'll get 10,180. And I'm going to add that to 80,000. So I get 90,180. You do not have to line those up because we are no longer adding those together. Okay? So just write it out to the side. You could even put a little equal sign there, couldn't you? That's what it equals when I add it up. We are no longer doing addition right here. We're taking that step out. It's taking too long. So the next one, 3 times 4? 12. How many zeros? 5. So 200,000. Okay, so back to the millions place. What's 3 times 5? 15. How many zeros? Four. What's that number? 150,000. 150, 150, 3 times 9? 27. 27. 3 times 9. Add how many zeros? 2. Okay, so I'm going to add these two in my head. It's 152,700. Add that up and I get 
352,700. So taking out that addition step is going to save quite a bit of time. Okay, so this is the new improved way to do the area model. Standard algorithm. Are you ready for that shortcut? Give me a turkey head, please. I still think it kind of looks like a duck the way I'm drawing it, but <laughs> we'll survive. Okay, so this is where I want you to put your pencils down and watch me. There's two ways to do this. I'll wait till your pencils are down. There's two ways to do this. The smart way and the not so smart way. I'm not going to give a name for the not smart way, but you could think of one, couldn't you? Okay. So as I'm working, I already know there's a zero here because I know I took out a column in the area model, right? So I know the zero exists. Good, because that's going to save me some time. Here, I'm going to show you the not so smart way. Six times nine, 54. Zero times six, zero. plus five. Okay, that's the not so smart way. Why would I write a five and then write it again? Why not just look at that zero and think, oh, if I regroup, I just get to write my answer. I don't have to regroup because there's a zero. So 6 times 9 is 54. That's the smart way. Write it down. Because of the zero in the tens place, I know my answer is going to be zero when I multiply. So there's no reason to regroup. 6 times 5, 30, 30. regroup the 3, write the 0. 6 times 4, 24. plus 3. Do I write a comma in that number? No. Do I have a match? Yes. I do. Oh, and on my answer key, I don't know. Why don't we make life a little bit more interesting? They drew some arrows like this. Might as well have fun with it, right? Anything times a multiple of 10? Okay, so one zero. Now I know that zero is coming in the tens place. Did you cross off your six and draw your waddle on that turkey? Now it looks more like a turkey, not a duck. So I know there's a zero coming. I won't regroup. Two times nine, what is it? 18. So just write it. It's 27. Two. Nine times, times nine. Oh, okay, two times nine. 18. So now I have to skip over the zero, because I wrote it, the one. I would have regrouped the one and then added it to zero, and we really don't need that step, do we? Then two times five, ten. ten. Two times four, Eighteen. plus one. Nine. Do I have a match? Yes. Okay. Anything times a multiple of 100. Add two zeros to the end. And it doesn't rhyme. Okay, I know the zero's coming. Correct? Mm -hmm. So I know that if I regroup right here, I don't have to multiply times zero. I can just write the answer. What's three times nine? 27. Okay, just write it. Make sure your digits are lined up. Whoops, forgot to cross them. Huh? So, three times what is next? Five. Five. What is it? Fifteen. Okay, so you're regrouping that one out there in the air, basically, aren't you? Three times four, what is it? Twelve. Plus one more. Thirteen. Do I have a match? No. Yes, I do. Yeah, we do. Oh, I thought it, I thought it was 22,000. Okay, add it up. Add carefully because we don't have anything to compare it to. What? For me, the turkey method doesn't make sense because the gobbler doesn't even go down there. Well, it's going to have to work for this class. Okay, because it goes right below the nose. I know, but it's going to have to work for this class. So we, oh, and it's the waddle, but it should be called the gobbler, shouldn't it? I don't know. So 9 plus 5, I'm going to go back to what I was doing, 14, 15, 16. 
one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. So what did you get for an answer? Good. Who said that? Sadie? You're really. I love it. Okay, so 1,469,934. I don't mind a zero every now and then. I think it makes my life easier. What do you think? Okay, let's add another zero. Now, this is the cream of the crop, so to speak. When there's a zero on the bottom number, you get to skip a whole row. So I notice this is four by three, but I only have three by two. So 4,509 is the same. We'll skip the tens place, right? And I forgot to highlight last time. Did anybody notice that? Yeah. And then 306. Actually, you skipped a row and a column. Three, you're right. 306. And don't forget to highlight. Okay. So, remember we're not adding the partial products anymore. So, you can just write it right beside your area model. Do you want to try this one and then check it with mine? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> oh, this is the same. You did not notice that, did you? Well, I should have because it's the second time I've done it today. Okay, standard algorithm with the turkey that doesn't make sense, but it's all we could think of at the time. Okay, so six times nine, what is it? Fifty-one. Why do I just get to write the five and not regroup it? Because the zero. there's a zero. There's a zero. Six times five? Six times four? Plus three? Seven. Okay, I'm going to do something different this time with my arrows. Okay, now this is where I really need you to listen to me. We're done with the six. Give it a collar. Put the waddle in the wrong place. Okay? And I noticed something. What? Any time, anything times zero is zero, right? Yeah. So why do I even have to do the zero? I don't. Ignore it. Just like over here, we did nothing in the tens place. That's what we're going to do in the standard algorithm. I don't have to write a single thing if there's a zero in the tens place. I just skip down to the hundreds place. Anything times a multiple of hundred. Add a zero. Add two zeros. two zeros to the end and it doesn't rhyme. Now, what do you think the mistake is that children make? They just put one zero. But if there's a zero in the tens place, quit tapping. I get to skip that row of multiplication, just like I skipped that row on the area model. So anything times a multiple of 100, add two zeros to the end. I'm going to keep going, and then I'll answer your question. Three times nine, what is it? Why don't I have to regroup the two? Because there's a zero in the tens place. Three times five? Fifteen. Four, regroup to one. Four times three? Twelve. Add one 13. more. Do I have a match? Yes. yes. Add them up. 
I love zeros. You are very 